Hi, my name is Romano. Welcome to the third part of my video series about what is CI CD. In my first videos, we had a look at CI, which stands for continuous integration. And then we had a look at CD, which stands for continuous delivery. Today, we will have a look at what is continuous deployment. Let's quickly recap. Continuous integration was done by the developer, which is committing his source code to the source code repository. Then the continuous integration server will kick in and integrate the source code with the rest of the source code and build it. If that is okay, we will do the static code analysis, then the static security analysis, and then this server will do the unit tests, the execution of this unit test and the execution of the integration test. If everything is okay, the server will give back a feedback to the user so that the, the, the developer knows that everything was okay. After the continuous integration step, the continuous delivery step kicks in. So there we are going to deploy our software into a production-like environment so that we can execute the tests in this production-like environment. And that is continuous delivery. And now with the third step, we are going to fully automatically deploy the software into the production environment. And this is called continuous deployment. So when the continuous integration is okay and continuous delivery to a production-like environment and executing these UI tests is okay, we can fully automatically deploy the software into the production environment by doing continuous deployment and giving back feedback to our developer. So as you can see, CI stands for continuous integration, CD for continuous delivery or continuous deployment. 